So I'm an orthopedic surgeon and I specialize in sports medicine, which means I take care of a lot of athletes of all ages and getting them back to the sports that they love doing after injury is the best part of my job. I'm a general surgery resident. I work with high school and middle school students through the Doctor for a Day workshop. We provide hands-on clinical skills and surgical technique experience with the students and it is the most inspiring uh, thing to work with these wonderful students. Aloha, I'm a PhD candidate in genome sciences. 96% of genome-wide association studies have focused on individuals of European descent. This year, I was invited to a national conference to discuss strategies to engage indigenous populations in genome sequencing studies. I've also been selected to give a TED talk. In this new curriculum, we're flipping the classroom where students are teaching the teachers and each other as part of this active learning. In addition, we're bringing in really new elements around teaching. The students are very interested in the basics of why people get certain diseases, global health disparities, and health equity. I used to be so excited when I met doctors, and now kids look at me and they see that doctor that they want to be. What I'm particularly proud of is this year we turned Key Arena into a free clinic. In four days we took care of 4,000 people providing $3.5 million in charity care. I'm most proud that 97% felt that they were cared for and cared about. This last year in the School of Medicine has been very exciting that we've had veterans applying to our program and veterans bring so much to the School of Medicine. The ethos of we leave no one behind is really our ethos as well. Once you're admitted to the School of Medicine, you will graduate. One of the most exciting events this past year is to help one of my cancer patients who suffered from Graffert-Souls disease to see better. She benefited from our treatment and she made a donation to our research which in turn benefit thousands more patients. So during the past year, we've launched University District Street Medicine, which is a program that gets students out of the classroom and onto the streets to provide medical care to homeless folks. And I think the biggest strength of our program is that we teach people compassion and how to meet people from all different backgrounds where they are at in their lives. This project has been important to me in the last year because as someone who's been formerly homeless and as someone who's a current social work student, it has been really great to be able to give back to a community that I've been a part of and also work with other students that are interested and willing to give back to this community. We're not chasing change, we're making change. So about a year and a half ago, one of my graduate students came into my office with the seed of a, a really terrific idea, it's effectively a, a really uh, novel and, and uh, potentially breakthrough approach to uh, non-invasive cancer diagnostics. One of the greatest things that happened this year was being able to see seven residents completing residency training, six women, one man, bringing women into the workforce of surgery, increasing the diversity of the surgeons of the future. I'm very excited that we got a Stand Up to Cancer Ovarian Cancer Dream Team Award for $6 million. We're at the point where our research is becoming transformational. I'm a fourth year medical student and this year I had the opportunity to work with an older homeless gentleman uh, who had a lot of things go wrong all at once and he was in the hospital for a long time. Uh, but when he got out he didn't have anywhere to go rest and heal. Uh, and so we tried to work with him to overcome some of these challenges. And it was a really amazing opportunity to see just kind of the day-to-day -day struggles that these patients face. Um, and hopefully it'll make me be a better doctor down the line. It was a great moment when I realized that, that more uh, good ideas were coming from people in my lab uh, than from me. Celiac disease is a debilitating illness with no available therapeutic. And at the Institute for Protein Design, we've developed a molecule that works very well, indicating that this could be a potential promising therapeutic for the disease. Well, I've taught at the medical school for 30 years and I've had the pleasure of working with students from diverse backgrounds and I love them. And this is, I set up a scholarship to encourage their recruitment. I work on Merkel cell carcinoma, which is an often lethal type of skin cancer, usually caused by a virus. After over a decade of work, we understand now the critical role of the immune system in fighting this cancer, and I think by one year from now, we're going to have a drug that's going to change the lives of patients. I am so glad to be here at UW Medicine. I love it here at UW Medicine. This is a good place.